It's National Science Week. I'm gutted I'm not going to be able to see it. So I know. Well, I might, but they might be like crazily. Kind you of will be able to see it, but they'll be on the desk. <laughs> yeah. So. That'd be weird. <laughs> That'd be welcome. amazing. I'll be able to see my own head. <laughs> That's so weird. Ah. Without a mirror. Hello, Greg Foot. Hi, Scott. Uh, from BBC Three's very good show, which is on a Sunday evening, the secrets of everything. Uh, now, last week, thanks to you, we found out why chilies burn. Poor Chris. I know. Uh, and of course, it's your brain telling you that they're burning. So after <laughs> ruining Chris, um, you've got another. Um, one of your experiments that you did on the show on Sunday night on BBC Three. Yeah, that's right. What time is the show on, if people don't know? Uh, so it's actually now on at 7 o'clock this coming Sunday and the following Sunday. Oh, you've well. been promoted. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so 7pm Sunday night, BBC Three. Well, what are we doing today? Let's see if this is any better than either of those two. OK. Yeah, so we want to have a look at this, this urban legend that if you sneeze with your eyes open, your eyes will pop out. Right. So um, first things first, we need to get some sneezing going on. Okay. So I know Becky's up for it. Scott, are you up for this? Go on. Can we have to do it as well? Yeah, yeah because if on. I take a while, you might go first, might oh. you? I'll join in too. So okay. I thought we'd start with the um, the cartoon method, which is pepper. <laughs> Does that actually work? Well, let's find out. Okay. So so you can either kind of put a little bit on your finger and try to sniff up your nose. Okay. Um, or you, we can kind of shake it. So I'll go over to Becky. Let's give it a try. But no, and do I have to try and keep my eyes I open? I think I prefer the shaky one because I'm not sure about... Let's just, um, let's just get the sneezes going, I think, first. Okay. So let's shake it. Um, while right. we're trying to sneeze, Greg will explain well, the science. the microphone so that it doesn't go up that. Ready? Yeah. She's been sneezing loads Ready? today. Sneeze, Stop. sneeze. Stop! Don't move away from it. She's cowering. Ah. I'm just trying to... Oh, hang on. Come on. It is tickling Open your a eyes. bit. Open your eyes. I'm going to look up and look at the light. <laughs> what happens if I get one, though? Your eyes spring out <laughs> towards right. the ceiling. Do you want to try this, Scott? Yeah. Okay, so I'll give it a really good shake. But how do you keep your eyes open? Well, just let's just try to get a sneeze first, and I'll, I'll help you yeah. hold them open. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Scott's ready with his eyes. I like, am ready. Open. Steady. I don't think we go. it works that quick. Sniff. <laughs> no sneeze happening, is there? Oh, oh. It's tickling. Is it coming? Oh god. It's coming. It's coming. Oh, it's no, gone. It's gone. It's oh. gone. <laughs> it's that, that moment oh, where you love, think, oh, it's going to happen, it's going to happen, it didn't happen. What I love with you is that you were sat there, like, poised with your fingers, holding your eyes open he just in case. It's totally like, ready. Oh, I am bang on. up for it. I want my I want my eyes to <laughs> be pointing out of their sockets. OK, right. let's go so for um, method number two, right? What's this? Let's right. go for method number two. So the reason you sneeze, it's, it's, it's a completely involuntary response. I hope you're watching only. this. Watch it on the radio and website. <laughs> you want to see Scott's eyes, they're hilarious. Yeah. Um, when, you, when you tickle the inside of your nose, right, right or, or you get some dust in there or some pollen in there, yeah. it aggravates the inside in there and that sends a signal to your brain along a nerve okay. and you sneeze which is completely involuntary you kind of fill your lungs up with air it all rushes out to try to get rid of that dust or pollen so okay. what we're going to do now is wrap the tissue wrap it up like this yeah. so you get a really sharp point at the end like that? yeah yeah that's perfect okay. oh, stick it in your nose <laughs> give it a good wiggle around right. and uh, see if you can muster a sneeze please watch this on the Radio 1 website because you know I am about to make my eyes fall out I'm not going to push mine too hard because I'm paranoid of a bogey coming out on the end. <laughs> <laughs> what? Just being that's, honest. That's worth watching just for that, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it. Keep it's doing it. Stick, it. stick it right in there. Right. Just right up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to try and, and hold my hold... eyes open at the same time. Hope you're watching this. <laughs> oh, this is weird. Oh, I'm going to come and hold your eyes open. Scott. Okay. This is a two-man job now. <laughs> I am sticking... <laughs> I'm sticking the tissue up my nose... And Greg is holding my eyes open. This is really weird. Ah, oh, God. Go on, tickle. Tickle. Ah! <laughs> I've got your eyes. The eyes aren't going to close. Go oh, on. God. Oh, God. I don't like it. <laughs> Looks like the sneeze is coming. Ah, it won't come. <laughs> oh, this is horrible. Oh, that's horrible. I'm going back to the Any luck? This is going well. <laughs> Can you try it, please? Yeah, I'll try it. Can I hide? Because I hold yeah, your eyes yeah, open. Yeah, yeah. OK, I'm coming round. Watch this on the Radio 1 website, bbc.co.uk slash Radio 1. This is live science, but it's fun. OK, here we go. That's the sound of me doing the pepper. Even if one... <laughs> Just so I clarify that. That would be amazing. Think about it. I've got one coming. Yeah? <laughs> Shall I hold his other eye? Shall I hold his other eye? <laughs> Radio 1. I think this might have been... Go on. Here we go. No, he's not... I'll uh, your eyes. OK, I'm trying to open him. <laughs> I'm trying to get a sneeze. <laughs> oh, well, this is awful. <laughs> this is awful. Ah! No, I let go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was... 
disappointing climax. <laughs> oh, okay. D d did that one stay open, Scott? You had my left one. Did that I, stay open? I, I would have to see the. I, I might need to see, see the rerun. <laughs> let's, let's try some more. But basically, we, we did it on the show and we filmed it with a high speed camera and we managed to see that my eyes did indeed stay in place. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, they so, looked oh. the same. <laughs> they were still there. And, you know, some people think your eyelid keeps your eye in. Obviously, it doesn't. The reason that you can look in different directions is because you've got muscles that are allowing your eyes to move in those different directions. Those muscles aren't going to suddenly really slacken and your eyes are going to pop out. It's not going to happen. Oh, so okay. that one is indeed an urban myth. So why do you close your eyes? It's just one of those things. It's just completely involuntary response. Yeah. Oh... Yes, Becky's still trying. She's still, just she's still trying on the I'm pepper. I'm sneeze now. I think it's just annoying that I can't. I know. Even Ash from, in, from Derby's been on saying, the, tiss the tissue trick always works. We tried it at school. But it didn't work for me. <laughs> um, OK. I, that was I, weird. I, I'm going to keep trying that, I think, later Are on. Are you? Yeah. OK. <laughs> BBC Radio 1, we might have a sneeze. Hold his eye open, Becky. <laughs> yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I hope you saw that, because the cameras were still on. Yes! Your eyes do not fall out. That turned into... from It went from will your eyes fall out to, to how do you make yourself sneeze <laughs> for ages. <sighs> that was, Your eyes were full on open there. Yeah, Greg. we've done it. We've proven it. I really it. hope that we got that on camera. Um, and don't forget to watch Secrets of Everything on BBC Three, 7pm on Sunday night. Thank you for another beautiful experiment, Greg. Thank you very Thank much. You.